Well, what we're gonna do, we're gonna paint a back panel for a Ford chassis, which would be, we're gonna spray Ford white, which it goes to the back of the chassis, Okay. And the box connects to it. It's just like a passway type deal, like a window. All right. And you paint it, base it with Exalta performance coatings. You're going to need these. Okay. The team's next task will involve painting. It's extremely important not to put too much paint onto the surface. If this happens, it creates an uneven look in the finish. The part will then need to be cleaned and painted again. Okay, you wanna make sure you get all your edges first. Don't be too close. first. All right, so just push it and edges, like, edges first again or no? Huh? Yeah, edges first again. Just go around it. Then you do them and then you do your flats. Yandre passed the painting portion with flying colors. Now it's time for Cornell to do the same. Don't paint my face. just ruined the part they were working on. But after some investigation from Rusty, the team might be able to carry on. Man, I keep getting in trouble. Uh, Rusty said my side went on a little bit heavy, but what can you do? I thought they wanted it to be white. I don't think I ruined it. Cornell's side went on a little heavy, but good thing there's some carpet on that side. All in all, they both did pretty well, and the next stage we'll go to is buffing. Now that the painting is finished, the team moves on to meet Brian, who just started buffing on one of the ambulances. So, what are we gonna be doing today? Okay, we're gonna be sanding and buffing. Um, we use a, a two-step sanding process here. It's a dry sand process. We use a, a thousand grit, is what we use to sand the orange peel out of the module. Okay. And then the, the second step is a, it's a finer grit sandpaper that reduces the scratches caused by the first, the first step, so it, it refines the sand scratchings, scratches, so that way it'll make the buffing process a little easier. So okay. is there a clear coat on here already? Yes, there's already a clear coat. So on. We're, we're sanding the clear coat. Correct. Okay. That's what. That's where. That's where the orange peel comes from. Is the clear coat. Okay. So um, how do we do it? Okay. Uh, right now the the uh, this is what we call a DA sander. The pneumatic uses air pressure. Um, this is what starts. Your, uh, your sander, ah. so it's kind of throttle controlled. So the more you push on it, the faster it's gonna go. Ah. Sorry about the dust. Okay. <laughs> um, you wanna hold it flat to the surface. When you press it, you wanna add a little bit of pressure. You wanna make sure that that disc spins. If you push hard enough, the disc will stop spinning, but it'll still kind of orbit and shake. 
Okay. So you want just enough pressure to keep that keep the disc turning. Okay. All right, let's try it out. Okay, I'll go first, if that's okay. Yeah, go ahead. Do I need to do... It'd be, yeah, hold it, grip it like that, and then you just use the palm of your hand to depress the, oh, the trigger. Oh. All right. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Pretty good for skimming it. Now you want to sand it so that way all the all the little orange peel. So this level still so looks like this. Yep. So there's okay. no shine back shine. Okay. Alrighty. Lots of pressure must be applied when buffing in order to get the layer of orange peel out of the clear coat. I think I got one tiny spot. <laughs> that is hard to do. Yeah, it, it's pretty. It's hard on you. Wow. Might want to add a little bit more pressure. Brian is asking Cornell to apply more pressure to the box. So Cornell taps Yonder in to finish the job. Ooh. All right, Yonder, you want to give it a go? Okay. Yonder works hard on that same spot in order to complete the sanding process for that area. Ooh. Unfortunately, Yandere misses the mark with this section and still requires more sanding. Yeah, right in here. Yeah. Brian steps in to complete the first part of the sanding process. The next part of the sanding process requires a finer grain of sandpaper to remove the roughness created from the first step. Brian coaches Yandre on how to improve his sanding technique. He's doing a pretty good job. He's letting the tool do the work. Um, going nice and slow, allowing it to spin. Um, trying to keep a nice straight line. He's overlapping. That's what you need to really need to focus on. The team's next task will be to buff and shine the area they just sanded. Um, with the buffer, you want to be really careful because it'll, it's got a lot more torque than that sander did. So All right. You really want to hang on. <clears throat> when you go to start, you want to tip it just a little bit so you pull the compound into the center of the pad. If you leave it flat, all you're going to do is pick just it up on the edge and throw it, it everywhere out. Yeah. and then okay. it won't cut. So you want to kind of go slow. I kind of feather the trigger a little bit when I first start. Apply pressure quite a bit. All right. Lean into it. So do I lead it in or do I just start over here? Just kind of lead, yeah, lead okay. into it a little bit. Kind of tip it just a little bit. You got it. The buffing process smooths out the rest of the rough spots and creates a very smooth, shiny finish. Thanks to the coaching Yandere had with Brian earlier, he catches on to the process very quickly. Yandere finishes up his portion, and now it's Cornell's turn. Do you want to try it? Uh, what do you think? We can slow you got to push pretty hard. You. Yeah, you, you, you think I can do it? Yeah, you'll, you'll, it'll be your max. Okay. I think we're making him a little bit nervous with me wanting to try it. All I can say is get your camera ready because this is going on YouTube. <laughs> it is actually though. Yeah. <laughs> then catch your compound before you apply pressure. Is like that? Tip it a little bit. There you go. TLC. <laughs> well, we are 
done with the sanding, the buffing, the polishing. Yeah. We got rid of the orange peel on the paint, which I cannot figure out what the guy was talking about at first. But then when I looked closer, the texture of the paint has a little bit of the same consistency as an orange peel. Yeah, you can definitely see it. Yeah, I was looking for like an orange color. Oh, no, I could tell it was texture. He was yeah. saying, because he was saying, I'm going to take off some layers. Right, that's when I started to get. So it's three said. different sandpaper, or two different sandpapers to smooth it out and then buffing it and then polishing it. Quite yeah. a process. So next up, we got lunch. I mean, chassis prep and assembly. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Over and out. Hey, thank you for watching. American Made is brought to you by Sigma Nest Software. Nest at the best. If you want your shop to feature in one of our episodes, click on the link below in the description. And if you want to make sure you don't miss an episode, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Perfect. Nailed it. Except that like majorly cheesed up at the end. That's like fine. this. Yeah, totally good. <laughs>